जीरो अंतरिक्ष यान निकल चुका है सूर्य के तेज से विज्ञान को प्रकाश करने Global space agencies have been studying the sun from space for several decades now. With the launch of its first solar observatory mission, India's Aditya L1, the Indian space agency ISRO also hopes to unravel the causes of certain unique solar phenomena. To explain the science behind the Aditya L1 mission, we are on senior correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to astrophysicist Professor Ramesh and the landmark. Take a look. To tell us more about India's prestigious Aditya L1 mission, we are joined by Professor Ramesh from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. He is part of the team that will be analyzing the data from Aditya L1 and coming to scientific conclusions using that data. Sir, kindly tell us, ESA and NASA have done missions to the sun. So, how is it that ISRO's mission is unique? Um, this mission, as we all know, it is meant for studying the corona, which is the outer atmosphere of the sun. The sun we see today, it is the inner atmosphere of the sun that's called the photosphere. And the place where the photosphere ends, the corona starts. Though these uh, missions by ESA and NASA in the past have carried out similar observations, they were not in a position to study the corona from where it starts. And that is very, very important uh, because of certain scientific activities which are taking place. That way, this uh, mission by ISRO, Aditi L1 mission, will be able to see those regions of the corona which has not been observed in the past by the ESA and NASA missions. Okay. So when it comes to the tangible scientific gains, what can we expect? One of the uh, science motives behind launching this mission is there are some uh, transient activities taking place in this region of the corona which is sort of something similar to the earthquakes and these are called the solar quakes and uh, uh, during which there can be uh, expulsions of the coronal material which can travel in the interplanetary space and also towards the earth. And these uh, expulsions travel at the rate of approximately 3,000 kilometers per second. And if there happens to be a communication satellite in the line of sight, that satellite can malfunction. The electronics on board can malfunction. And if these expulsions reach the Earth's surface, they can stream along the Earth's magnetic field lines. Thereby, the Earth's geomagnetic field is altered. So they can create to what we call as some socio-economic clauses. And that's one of the main motives behind the study of these events. This was Dr. Ramesh elaborating to us about the major gains and tangible outcomes from Aditya L1 mission with video journalist Chandrasekhar, Siddharth MP, We On, World Is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.